Welcome to today's episode of the Tafra channel. Have you ever wondered why we suffer? A question that might seem daunting, but the answer is crucial to understand our journey towards greatness. Suffering in its myriad forms is an integral part of our existence. It's a crucible that shapes us, refines us, and ultimately propels us towards our true potential. Our lives are a constant interplay of choices, and often we find ourselves choosing between suffering for our aspirations or suffering in vain. The more we willingly embrace the discomfort that accompanies our dreams, the more we assert control over our suffering. Behind every shining beacon of success, there's a shadow of struggle. It's the suffering of growth, of learning, of evolving, and of understanding how this suffering molds us. Take Sundar Pichai, for instance. Born amidst hardships, his journey from the bylanes of Chennai to the corridors of Google is a testament to the transformative power of suffering. Remember, the more we choose to accept suffering in our lives, the more we gain control over it. How do we influence suffering? Here's a thought. We mold and shape suffering through the lens of our passions and goals. It's a bit like a potter at the wheel, transforming a lump of clay into something meaningful. In the same way, we shape our suffering into a force that propels us forward instead of letting it weigh us down. Consider this, when we're passionate about something, when we're striving towards a goal, the hardships we encounter along the way become bearable. They transform from insurmountable obstacles into stepping stones. The late nights, the rejections, the setbacks, they all become part of the journey, not the end of the road. Our passions and goals give us a reason to endure, to persevere. They give our suffering a purpose. And when suffering has a purpose, it becomes easier to bear. It's not just about enduring pain, it's about harnessing it, channeling it towards something greater. That's where the power of suffering lies. From the southern tip of India in the city of Chennai, there lived a young man named Sundar Pichai. Born into humble beginnings, Sundar's family didn't have the comforts of luxury. They celebrated the simple joys of life, like the day they brought home their very first refrigerator. But young Sundar had dreams bigger than his immediate circumstances. He had a fascination for technology and the transformative power it held. This passion for technology fueled Sundar's journey, leading him to Stanford University in the United States in 1993. It wasn't an easy path. To make ends meet, he lived with a host family. But his determination didn't wane. He pursued his studies relentlessly, earning a master's degree in material science and semiconductor physics. After graduation, Sundar entered the corporate world, joining Applied Materials as a product manager. But his destiny had grander plans. In the year 2004, Sundar Pichai joined Google, the tech giant that was about to change the face of technology. At Google, Sundar worked on a small team that developed Google's search engine for third-party browsers. But he had a vision of something more. He proposed creating a browser specifically designed for Google. Despite facing opposition, Sundar didn't back down. He believed in his idea and its potential to revolutionize internet browsing. It was a hard sell, but Sundar managed to convince the CEO. With the green light finally given, he began working on what we now know as Google Chrome. His passion, perseverance, and belief in his idea transformed a simple concept into a reality, changing the way we interact with the internet today. In his journey from Chennai to Silicon Valley, Sundar Pichai showed us that no dream is too big and no obstacle too daunting if you have the passion and the will to see it through. And remember it was his passionate pursuit of technology that turned his suffering into a story of success. After getting approval from the CEO, he began working on the browser. Sundar Pichai is now the CEO of Google. A statement that epitomizes a journey of perseverance, passion and sacrifice. He stands as a testament to the power of dreams and the strength of the human spirit. His voyage from Chennai, India to the pinnacle of the tech world is a tale of unwavering determination and tireless dedication. As the CEO of Google, Sundar Pichai spearheads the company's mission and vision, leading thousands of employees towards innovation and progress. His leadership style is known for its empathy, inclusivity and foresight. He believes in the power of technology to transform lives, and under his watch, Google continues to break barriers and redefine the boundaries of what's possible. Sundar Pichai's journey is a reminder to all of us that dreams, no matter how big, are achievable. It's about finding your passion, embracing the challenges that come with it, and persevering until your dreams become reality. He achieved his dream of working in a field that he is passionate about. Dear beautiful follower, if things are difficult for you, if it feels like the world is against you, remember Sundar Pichai's story. He didn't just stumble upon success, he worked for it, he suffered for it. 
but it was his passion for technology, his dream to make a difference that made the suffering bearable, that turned the suffering into a stepping stone towards greatness. Just as Sundar found his passion, I encourage you to find yours. Your passion is that thing that makes you feel alive, that thing you would be willing to suffer for. It's the thing you can't not do, it's the thing that, when you're doing it, the hours seem to fly by. The thing that you would do even if you weren't getting paid for it. That's your passion. And once you've found it, use it to fuel your journey. Use it to overcome the suffering, to turn your struggles into strength. Use it to shape your destiny, to carve out your own path in this world. Because in the end, it's not the suffering that defines us but how we respond to it. And remember you're not alone on this journey. We're here for you, to guide you, to inspire you, to help you find your passion and use it to change your perspective on life. So if you found this episode helpful, if it inspired you or gave you a new perspective, then make sure you subscribe to our channel. Give this video a like, share it with your friends, and stay tuned for more episodes. Your engagement really helps us to keep creating content that can inspire and empower you. And as we conclude this episode, let's not forget the power of prayer. Let's pray for the strength to find our passion, the courage to pursue it, and the perseverance to overcome the suffering that comes with it. I hope you found this episode helpful. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give it a like because it really helps.